Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So real quick, don't forget to leave a like and support by subscribing and leaving a comment if this was helpful. For those who are new to the channel and may not be aware, I am very passionate about improving my aim. Today's video goal is to push a fast, unbiased view of both AimLab versus Kovacs. I got so many comments asking me in my last stream about these two aim trainers and I want to provide my thoughts on which one you should use. Well, first off, just pushing yourself in the direction of self-improvement with your aim is already fantastic in itself and should be looked at already as a positive. Both of these aim trainers, no matter what, will be a step in the right direction towards self-improvement. I mean, even watching your own gameplay, hopping in game, and just being fully aware that you're looking to improve is already a step in the right direction to becoming a better gamer. But today, again, we're focusing on aim trainers. Today, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna talk pros and cons of each platform, then an overall comparison. First, we're gonna do a deep dive into AimLab, and so let's get right into it. AimLab has already started to ramp up with constant updates, and AimLab is a free software that is currently in a beta build. So let's talk about those pros. It's a free software on Steam. It has constant updates to its platform, is building a new community, and is receptive towards feedback, and it's easier to navigate and know what to focus on in terms of aim categories and exercises. So now the cons. It's still in beta. Recently, it has released a scenario list and it's building as library, but it's getting there. It needs time to continue to grow. Another con is aim enthusiasts reference it as a weaker platform. So let's break that down on the last note. I know AimLab has a lot going for it. Anything newer and comparing is obviously gonna go under more scrutiny. The reality is that AimLab is making lots of improvements and building out towards a more powerful platform in time. It has some scenarios that push the envelopes and in my eyes are more creative towards improvement. This of course is always a subjective opinion, so please do with, with, with that what you will. There's other software such as AimBeast, which is a great software as well. I have a video coming that, on that later, so be sure to leave a like if you wanna hear a review on that software as well. If I was new to aim trainers, going with aim labs first is not a bad thing as it helps get your feet wet and there's no entry level cost to diving in. The UI itself adds a lot of guidance in terms of telling you what you should or should not play. Now, what you should or not should not play is definitely, again, subjective as you become better and better and start to improve. So now let's break down Kovacs. This is clearly the preferred platform of most pros. I definitely enjoy it. I enjoy both of them, but it definitely has more of a legacy status to it. It also has an amazing community known as the Voltaic community that really supports it and helps newcomers that really want to improve their overall aim and find playlists specific for them. Again, continuing on with the pros. It has probably the most diverse library of scenarios and some of the largest in the scene that is built out can pretty much provide anything you want specifically to improve your aim. It has a strong community behind it that are legacy aim enthusiasts and former pros or current pros. And again, it is very customizable. Now the cons. It has an entry level price of $10. Now it's not as user friendly. They have released an update called Kovacs 2.0 that unfortunately flopped. Those who utilize a platform prior did not take well to the new layout and understandably so. This was a push to more streamline and add a positive way to improve your aim, but it just really did not stick. Again, the UI is not as pretty for those that are looking in terms of UI, but again, it is customizable. And the updates are not as frequent as let's say AimLab whenever they do holiday events and such like that. Now, let's take another step further and discuss this. Kovacs is such a massive library of scenarios, but the problem for those who are new is that it can be very overwhelming. So again, this is kind of a pros and cons here. If, now, but if there's a scenario you want, it definitely exists here. You just gotta do some digging for it. So for newcomers, I'll explain it like this for both aim trainers. Kovacs is a robust gym with the lack of instruction. It tried to build in instructions, which is Kovacs 2.0, but it just was not well received. So it has a large amount of tools, but it's, if it's your first time working out, it can be very overwhelming in what you need to do to actually improve. It's why the Voltaic community exists and how they manage to coach and help so many to improve. And we talked about them prior as well in the videos. They put out their own benchmarking for Kovacs, which has been very well received and definitely has helped a lot of individuals. I mean, Aim Labs definitely has its own benchmarking as well, but of course those who are enthusiasts within their own right have their own opinions and how they feel about it. And definitely Aim Lab has some unique scenarios as well that are very different, such as line tracing or decision making or how you react in certain scenarios in terms of aim. So 
Again, that's a subjective if that really helps your aim and maybe perhaps is better spent in game. But again, I'm just highlighting things that are different between these two platforms. So it's okay to take your first stab at your journey. Don't be overwhelmed though. Both are really fantastic tools. And like a gym, you're really not gonna go wrong with either one. Just the layout is gonna be different depending on what you're more comfortable with. If you have a lot of FPS experience, maybe you wanna just go into Kovacs. Or maybe you don't wanna pay the price tag and just wanna hop into AimLab. Or if you're just so new, you have no idea what you're doing, well, maybe AimLab might be a little bit helpful to you. Maybe Kovacs, if you just want the everything thrown in front of you, may be more enticing. It's up to you to kind of make that decision. I hope this video is helpful in guiding you in terms of what you're looking for, but also take in consideration as this video ages because of updates and changes that come into account. Maybe AimLab won't be free one day. Maybe it'll produce way more materials that Kovacs could ever think of, but maybe Kovacs could go free to play and maybe just not innovate as much. So be mindful, of course, as this video starts to grow and as you guys share it, hopefully share it, and have others decide on which platform they prefer. Overall, though, what we're looking at is great ways to overall isolate and improve your aim just specifically for mouse control. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.